An Indianapolis veteran is turning an old school bus into a grocery store on wheels. He's calling it the cool bus. As WRTV's Megan Sanctorum shows you, it's an effort to open up access to fresh and healthy foods. If you drive down Michigan Road near 59th, you may have noticed this old school bus parked in a gravel lot. The cool bus is a 40 foot long bluebird school bus that's been transformed into a mobile grocery store. Complete with coolers, shelves, and racks. In this space, we'll probably put more of our produce. This is to chill the produce. This is all the vision of local veteran Jeff Piper. You know, uh, about 2015 when the Double Eight food stores started closing, that's when I uh, started wondering about how people were going to get to the food. I knew that was an issue. I watched an old lady that could have been my grandma, 18 blocks with two little bags of food through the snow. He knew something had to change, so he bought this bus. Between his own funds, a grant from the city, donations, and corporate sponsorships, he was able to renovate the bus. Once it's filled with food, it will hit the road. It would be very good in this area if it's successful. People need that in this area. Some say the neighborhood is still recovering from the loss of the double eight. One woman remembers the day it closed. Oh, it was like a ship had sunk. Nobody had anywhere to go to buy any fresh food or fruits or anything like that. But now, an effort to change that with this bus. Well, I am reaching out to the Farmer Veteran Coalition for locally sourced when possible, but we are in Indiana, so we know what happens. You're not going to be able to get everything. When it comes to canned good, box goods, we, we buy. We buy, transport, and sell. He says people will be able to use their Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP benefits, for food on the bus, calling this effort a form of therapy for himself and a way to support his community, hopefully easing the burden of finding healthy food. It's about the people. It really is. Uh, to me, the people are, the food's a way to get to them. All right, so it's about reaching out to people and building that community, helping them become sustainable in one way or another. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV. Well, organizers hope to fill the bus and hit the road in the next month or two. The bus will make 10 stops a week in the Riverside neighborhood on the west side to start. And tomorrow, Hoosiers can receive free food and get a COVID-19 vaccine. You can get it done all at the same time at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The track is hosting a Gleaners Mobile Food Pantry tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. It's a drive through event. You will need to enter Gate 2 from 16th Street. Anyone in need can get free food and grocery items. And the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines will also be available at that time.